Okay, this is uh, Suzuki uh, book one, uh, number 14, minuet number two, explained. And so we're gonna touch a few little spots that really need you to pay some attention to, okay. First off, measure one, you've got this, um, this melodic content that has a lot of bow changes. And so watch your bow change. So I'm gonna do it just one time here. And the way you get better at that is get rid of the left hand fingers and do the open string. So figure out which open strings are sounding by kind of air fingering. And this is what I'll do here is. That makes sense? And so by following that, I can, I can practice the bow changes. When you add the fingerings back in, everything is gonna run a little bit better. That makes sense? So you're practicing the bowing motion. Okay, number one. Number two, measure 14, 15 has a triplet. So you just have to make sure that you're feeling that triplet beat. Di da 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 da. So that little bit would sound like this. Not too difficult, but definitely something to pay attention to. Now things get tricky when you get into measure 22. 23, you have a D sharp, okay? Uh, measure 23 and 24 and the triplet figure. So let me take that really slow and I'm gonna lean in here because you have to notice that you have an extended third. That D sharp, you've gotta extend third finger, otherwise it's gonna sound wrong, okay? Right? And then on measure 25, it goes back to the natural, so pretty simple. And then on measure 26, it gives you the option, fourth finger or open string. And you should always err on the side of fourth finger because it sounds nicer, it sounds warmer, it sounds better, uh, it's more sophisticated. Eventually, when your vibrato develops, you add vibrato, it sounds more beautiful. And so fourth finger is always a better choice than an open string, okay? So that whole little bit is gonna sound like this. And then finally, at the very, very end, you have uh, two measures before the very end. So that's measure 38, 39. Uh, again, that triplet figure. So watch that carefully, and here it goes. Thanks for watching that video. If there's any questions you have or anything I can help you with, I am only a comment away. So, Remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.